Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate simple interest. And in calculating simple interest, we use the formula interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. So in this problem, we have Gabby has $800 in a savings account that earns 5% interest per year. The interest is not compounded. How much interest will she earn in one year? Well, the first thing we have to we have is the principal. The principal is the amount that she's putting in the savings account, which is $80. Then we have the rate, which in this case is 5%, which we're going to change to a decimal of being 0.05, because we move the decimal two places. Then we have the time, which always has to be in years. In this case, it's one year. So we take this, the interest, is equal to the 80 times the 0 0.05 times the 1 for one year. So the interest is equal to 4 dollars. Now I look at my problem and says okay how much interest will she earn? So my answer here is $4. So now I have this one where it says Pamela has $100 in a savings account. How much the interest rate is again 5% per year. Has not compounded how much interest will she earn in two years? Well, again, I start with the principal. In this case, it's $100. The rate is 5%, which becomes 0 0.05. And the time is two years. Well, the interest is equal to 100 times 0 0.05 times, in this case, 2 for 2 years. So the interest is equal to $10. I'm multiplying those three together. And then I look at it says, how much interest will she earn in 2 years? So that tells me it is the interest that I'm looking for. Again, I only need to put in the 10 because they put the dollar sign right there. Now let's look at this one. It says Nicole has $30 in a savings account. The interest rate is 5% per year as not compounded. How much will she have in two years? So we're going to start the same way. So we start with the principal, which is $30. Then we go to the rate, which is 5%, which becomes 0 0.05. Then we take the time, which is two years. So we find the interest, which is equal to the 30 times the 0 0.05, and this is two years, so times two. So the interest is equal to, oops, I, is equal to three dollars. But this says how much will she have in two years? So I need, in this case, something called the balance, which is the total amount. So that takes the principal, which was $30, and adds to it the $3 that was the interest, or in this case, a total of $33. I do this because it says how much will she have in two years. I put in the 33.
Now this one says Harold has $48,630 in a savings account that earns 15% interest per year. The interest is not compounded. How much will you have in four years? So I start here with first my principal, which is 48,630. I have my rate which is 15%, which becomes 0.15. And I have my time, which is four years. So to get this, I say the interest is equal to the 48,630 times the 0.15 times the four. I get the total interest that is $29,178. But again, if it asked me for the interest, I'd be done. But it says, how much will he have? So when it says, how much will he have, it wants me to take the balance, which is the 48,630 plus the 29,178. I get seven seven eight zero eight. So seventy seven thousand eight hundred and eight dollars. Then this last one here. It says one has $85,794 in a savings account. The interest rate is 13% per year. It has not compounded. How much interest will you have in two years? So here again, we're interested in interest. So, but first I need the principal, which is 85,794. Then I have the rate which is 13%. I move the decimal two times, so that's 0.13. Then the time, in this case, is two years. So I go, the interest is equal to 85, $85,794 times 0.13 times two. And when I do that, I go 85,794 times 0.13 times 2. I get 22,306.44. And that's what I'm going to put in there because in this time, I'm just looking for the interest. And that's how you find simple interest. The biggest thing here is you have to pay attention to ask for the interest or for how much.